Hello there and a very, very warm welcome to this week's France Vine Guides YouTube presentation. Well, as promised, I said I would cover the various taxes in France. So briefly today, a note on French inheritance tax. Well, the first thing to know about French inheritance tax is that the laws are different from those in the UK. So at the very outset, I would uh, strongly advise you to take proper advice from a lawyer well versed in French law so that you and your loved ones are well protected. It is something of a minefield in France and quite complicated, but if you're well protected with a lawyer drawing up the proper uh, way to do your will and all the rest of it, you will be absolutely fine. It's wise to sort it out, hopefully in advance of buying your property. Now the main difference in France in, with the inheritance tax is that unlike the UK, you don't have complete freedom in terms of who you leave your property and assets to. You cannot disinherit your children in France, and there are two proportions to your estate, that which you can leave freely and that which you must leave to your relatives. For example, if you have one child, then that child would be entitled to your half the estate, two children, and they would be entitled to one third each. Um, if you have no children, then other members of your family may qualify as legal heirs. This is all based, actually, on the French principle that um, the property should be preserved down the bloodline. Um, if you are married or in a French civil partnership, there is no liability to inheritance tax for the surviving spouse. That's the good news. There are ways of avoiding um, French inheritance tax, um, such as buying a property in a company, which is called an SCI, or buying it in Antontine. Antontine. An SCI is basically a property company set up which purchases the property um, and with professional advice on that it is a reasonably standard and simple procedure so this is one thing that you might want to ask. The property is in fact owned by yourself and you have the same control. Um, it doesn't avoid inheritance tax but it does give you more control over who you leave your property to. Uh, Antontine is something that many people have heard of I think in the UK. It's, it's, it's a bit like a joint tenancy here. Um, it means that the property is purchased in a communal manner, which doesn't recognise either party in the purchase. And it's usually done to avoid the surviving spouse becoming embroiled in the division of the property with the reserved heirs, the one with the children. Um, and it's only on the death of one of the parties, in that case, on Tontine, that recognition of the surviving owner takes place. Um, Anyway, non-tontine clause is something you might want to ask about. SCI and entontine, those are two ways round possibly paying more inheritance tax than, than you would like to. Um, in a nutshell, it is a complicated area and it is important to get it right before you purchase the property to get the ownership right and to take good advice. Um, that would be my number one advice to you, to get professional advice. So please do keep your comments and questions coming. If there's anything you'd like me to cover here, let me know. I wish you well, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.